Welcome to a stationary tips video on easy, basic smelting and degassing. And you see here we have a uh, straight chute and we have a pile of ingots right here. So let's see what's going on in here. All right, so let's take a look at this uh, configuration here. So effectively, after a mining trip, I just toss all the ore in there. Now, some ore you may want to save like silver or cobalt, depending on your planet. You may save it or you just may want to throw it through and degas it. If you throw in coal, it'll just de be degas. It doesn't actually do anything more than that. So the coal goes down here and the, the, the ore goes down here and effectively it works its way down. Each one of these has an um, overflow. So it attempts to load the next one. If it's already been something there, it overflows. The next one overflows. The next one overflows. Now to prevent this from backing up and having a whole bunch of ore stuck in here, this last one will overflow all the way down back to the beginning. So any sort the goal is to keep the all the furnaces distributed evenly. And so you don't have a bunch of ore in here. Oops. While it's running. And then in the back, if I could stay on the platform here, they're all connected all the way through. Oops. Around, up, and dumps in the room. That's that pile of ingots you saw in there. And if there was like coal, it'd be rolling around somewhere in the building. I guess you could put some fences around it to try to contain um, any ingots that just uh, will stay in uh, uh, any ore that stays in its ore form, like uh, I believe coal and um, uh, cobalt will stay that way. There's no cobalt ingot. Now, this is based off the direct arc furnace controller video. And I'll have a link to that in here. It explains how to program uh, and drive the uh, arc furnace to be automatic. And there's a chip here. And you see here we have all six furnaces set up here. You put it on transformer. It's only at 4,000 watts. Now, I have a significant power supply behind this. So power is definitely not an issue. And the key thing is this is a huge time saver. It doesn't matter if silicon takes a while to be going through an arc furnace. I just toss it all in there and I can do other things. I can overlap. And this is way faster than effing around with a uh, furnace and doing that process that I've been doing. So basically after a mining trip now, toss it all in there, magic happened. Now it's all been degassed if, you know, and then now I can use a hot furnace to make alloys without it affecting the temperature. Cause I know everything's been quickly degassed and, and you saw there a big stack of ingots. So yeah, this is a, uh, and this works on any planet. That said, if you're on Vulcan and you throw gold in there, uh, you'll definitely get some uh, fire going on there. And uh, I don't think you'll get any flames on Europa if you throw in like cobalt. Not sure about that. But except for that, you know, and if you, don't think the flames would hurt anything. It's isolated pretty well here, but uh, I have not tried that yet on Vulcan. But this is universal. It works across all of them. And this is definitely a much easier way. Now, it does assume you have a good power supply. But that's typically not that big of a deal to get at some point. And there are uh, there will be other videos on uh, degas. I have other videos on degassing that at Planet Pacific. One for Venus, one for Vulcan. It uses a furnace and not a arc furnace. So this is my, you might have noticed that this is my Europa run. This will be in episode 19, which is not out yet, depending when you watch this video. And you'll see the construction of it and how it's built up in that episode if you want to see all the details of it. All right, so I just want to give you this quick tip of a easy way to do basic smelting and more importantly, degassing. Uh, that's a very useful part without really any fuss and must. You just toss it all in there, magic happens, 
and you don't have to deal with it. And as soon as it dumps it all into the base, you're not, you're not spending time collecting ingots off the ground and moving them somewhere else. All right, that's the end of this video. Until next time, see ya.